I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Here's one of mine. I remember getting into an argument with an American over Discord about how many states they have. He was convinced that America had 40. Keep in mind, he's American. They have 50. Okay, we've all seen the stitch. That's the guy saying, what's the dumbest thing an American's ever said to you? I want to know if you're an American. What's the dumbest thing a non-American ever said to you, like about America, that you were just like, oh, you've never actually known anything about the realities of America. You've only ever watched our television shows. I'm going to go first. Um, <clears throat> I had a roommate. This was in Canada. She was Canadian. Who told me that because... <sighs> Because my mother got her medical degree in America, her definition of healthy was not actual health. It was, it was different from the Canadian doctor version of healthy. My mother wasn't actually a health expert. My mother did her undergrad at the same Canadian school I went to. I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I actually made a video about this a good while back, but I'd say most of you haven't seen it, so I'll just say it again here, considering this is starting to catch on as a trend. So over the summer, I post a photo of myself at the beach on my Instagram story, just, you know, as you do. And this American replies to the Instagram story. And this is what they said. This is genuinely a word-for-word -word quote. This is going to sound stupid, but I dead ass didn't know you guys had beaches. So I'm sitting there reading this message thinking to myself, I live on an island. What, what do you think, you know, surrounds it? <laughs> But as silly as that message is, that's the message that started my series on TikTok on American Paper, which has ended up being by far my most successful series. So I have to be forever thankful for it. <laughs> also, I hope you all have a great day. I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Okay, so I'm from Indiana. I'm from the Midwest. Um, temporarily, though, I used to live in Los Angeles before moving out to the East Coast. Um, so one day I was in LA and I was like, okay, like I want to change banks. I no longer want to be with the bank I was currently with. So I go in and I went to the teller and I was like, hey, I just want to close my account if that's okay. They're like, yeah, no problem. And I go, perfect. They're like, can we see your ID? I said, yeah. Hand them my ID and they're like, I'm so sorry. Like, do you have a United States ID? Um, that's just what we're going to need to go ahead and confirm. I said, that is my Indiana ID. This is my driver's license. I'm from Indiana. And they said, no, um, I'm so sorry, but this is not a United States ID. Um, do you have any other form of ID? They're like, this says Indiana. I go, I know. Indiana is a state. I'm from Indiana. And they said, no, I need to see a United States ID. And I was just like, I'm sorry. What is our... I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Here's one of mine. I remember how much time you got, motherfucker. I could do this shit all day. <laughs> I'm going to Florida. Oh, really? Are you driving? Are you flying? I drove and it took me 17 hours. 17 hours? How many days is that? I want to visit Europe. Oh, really? What countries are you visiting? Oh, you know, the basics. No, I don't know. There's no tutorial to visiting countries. Do you mean Italy, France, Spain, Portugal? <laughs> Stop it. Portugal's not in Europe. It is. However, let's pull up a map. That way we know what countries you would like to visit. Okay, now looking at this map, where would you go? I would go to the Netherlands because it's next to Amsterdam. It is the capital city of the Netherlands. We are looking at a map, God damn it! dumbest thing an american has ever said to you i'm american but i gotta take this oh so freshman year of college my friends and i go up to canada to have a fun weekend whatever we're partying having fun we don't sleep at all right we get to the border i'm in the back seat knock slumped out border patrol knocks on the window he's asking everyone questions he comes to me looks at my passport sir what's your nationality i go oh uh louis barbosa he goes no sir what's your nationality i go oh uh haitian dominican or puerto rican choose whichever one everyone in the car staring at me like bro what are you saying right now you're about to get us arrested i'm like what what am i saying wrong right everyone's looking at me so the so border patrol tries to dumb it down for me he goes sir where are you from i go oh new york city he goes okay so what's your nationality so now everyone's staring at me and i'm getting tired i'm like yo what the fuck is that he's looking at me i'm looking at him he's looking at me he goes yeah, you're American. Go right through. Yo, son, thank God we wasn't coming back from Mexico. <laughs> what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So my ethnicity is native Russian. It's called Yakut. We live in the far east of Russia. And our physical traits, as you can see, are Asian. 
I study in the States and this guy asks me, oh, where are you from? And I say, I'm from Russia. And he's like, no, I mean like, where are you, you from? And I'm like, I'm from Russia, motherfucker. And he's like, okay, then where are your parents from? And I say, imagine, they're from Russia too. And he's like, well, I thought that you were Asian. Fucker, motherfucker, for you, maka, I am Asian. I don't know how your brain works, but you think if I'm from Russia, I cannot be Asian when I'm clearly am Asian and vice versa? If you studied your geography a little bit, you will know that half of Russia, the biggest country in the world, is really hard to miss it on the map, is in Asia. You really think that Habib Nurmagomedov's ethnicity is Russian? No, he's Dagestani, which is one of the hundred native Russian ethnicities. So yeah, I'm an Asian with Russian passport, bitch. And I got no ancestors immigrated. I don't mix your history with my history. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I know I'm American, but I'm going to get in on this one. I was staying at a hotel on the Strip in Vegas, and I was in the little convenience store just trying to buy a Diet Coke. And a couple in front of me that were from Australia were trying to just buy a pack of cigarettes. And after about five attempts, I knew the lady behind the register was never going to understand them. So I offered to them, do you want me to translate for you? And they were like, we're speaking English. And I was like, yeah, I know that. You know that. She doesn't know that. So they were like, yeah, fine, fine. And, and so I translated for them. And then um, after they got their cigarettes, they kind of laughed and were like, thanks. Uh -huh. And so when I w was ordering my Diet Coke, she was like, that would have been so much easier if they spoke English. And I was like, yeah, they're from Australia. They were speaking English. And she goes, they don't speak English there. And I was like, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. What do you think they speak there? And she goes, Australia in ish ease. The fuck? I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Canadian here. Right after I moved to America, I went to the Social Security office so that I could apply for a Social Security number so that I could work in America. I went up to the little kiosk and I punched in that I was applying for my very first Social Security number. And the man who was working there said, Excuse me, ma'am, you're going to want to punch in that you're applying for a replacement card, not a new number. And I said, no, sir, I don't have a social security number. I am applying for the first time. And he said, and you're an American? And I said, no, sir, I actually just moved here from Canada just a couple of weeks ago. And he, he said this. <laughs> Ma'am, I have to say, your English is amazing yeah i'm kind of curious what is the dumbest thing an american has ever said to you so i'm german right five years ago i was an exchange student in mississippi in the south of america i was sitting in this classroom this girl asking me oh you from germany i was like yeah she's like do you guys have cars in germany i was like are you serious she's like yeah i was like we invented cars, what are you talking about? I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I was talking to this guy, we had known each other for like three months I think, and we were talking on the phone, and I was talking about my parents, and he was like, oh by the way, I have a question, how come your parents speak Arabic? I was like, well, it's their native language. And he was like, oh really, I did not know people in that area spoke Arabic, thought they only spoke Spanish, and I was like, no. If we were to speak any Western language, it would most likely be French, since we were colonized by the French, not the Spanish. And then he said, oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, it's not pronounced Algeria, it's pronounced Argentina. I had to explain to him that I came from an actual country called Algeria. And then I said, it's like next to Morocco. And he said, where's Morocco? And I said, well, in North Africa. And then there was a blank and I said, yes, I am African. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So let's set the scene. It's early July and I'm in Marrakesh. I've just checked into this hostel and I'm sitting on one of these chairs here by the pool. So this young couple from Georgia sparks up a conversation with me. So the couple invite me up to like the roof, this like roof patio thing to see the fireworks. So we end up on the roof terrace here, uh, mingling with various nationalities. And the Americans are asking like, does anyone know when the fireworks start? Everyone's a bit confused. Anyway, it transpires that it is the 4th of July, American Independence Day. We're in Morocco. 
there's maybe like 10 of us all trying to explain to this American couple why they probably don't have fireworks for the 4th of July in Marrakesh, Morocco. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned for more. Part two, here we go. So we're still in Marrakesh. So the American couple have assumed me as their cameraman and we're at the YSL Museum getting some Instagram pics for them. And they're like, hey, do you want to go and get coffee? So we hail a taxi. I expect we're going to end up somewhere like this. The Americans basically insist the taxi driver takes him to Starbucks and he has no idea what they're talking about. But they've obviously done their research because they knew the name of the shopping centre and where there was basically a brand new Starbucks that had like just opened. So we're at this Starbucks in the middle of Marrakesh and I'm asking them, so are you going to go to the desert or like, um, are you going to go up north? Like, what's your plans for this trip? They tell me they have flights in two weeks back to the States from Cape Town, South Africa. I thought they could hitchhike in two weeks from here to here and that would be perfectly normal. I'm kind of like, you know, well, Africa is a big continent and their response was basically that America is a big country. So they're used to hitchhiking in the States comparing hitchhiking across this country here versus this whole continent here and I guess I'm gonna have to do a part three so so part three here we go so I'm still in Marrakesh so after Starbucks they drag me to H&M like we're in Morocco and they want to hang around H&M I wish I knew the ending but honestly um your guess is as good as mine they had my Instagram, but they never followed me, so I don't know what became of them. I don't know if they got to Cape Town and made their flight. So I do have a theory that they actually weren't going to Cape Town in the first place, and they just made it up for clout. I have this theory because the night before, when they first met me, they'd asked me, is this your first time in Africa? And it wasn't the first African country I'd been to, like, I'd been to Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa before. So I think maybe they wanted to seem like worldlier and they just made up this whole trip and they weren't actually going to Cape Town. Love to know what you guys think and maybe they'll see this on TikTok and I'll find out like what happened. Um but yeah your guesses are as good as mine and I'm sorry I can't give you a What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? When I was younger I worked at a hotel as a maid and I was one day going to clean the bathroom in my sexy maid outfit and there was a man sitting on the ground drinking the water from the bidet oh he was so he like a dog he's lapping it up and so i was like sir that is the bidet you must not drink from that he goes no it's very refreshing it's the fountain i was like no sir that's a bit there, it goes up your ass. It goes right up your ass. He did not believe me. He said it tasted so good. 